Something is running around up here. So I'm going to flip some of these and if I hear it again, it's probably just a field mouse, but I don't know. Oh, here, check this out. This is a little carabid or predatory ground beetle. You can see those large pincers, mandibles on the front. Those are for grabbing prey. Very neat. Put this back, let him hop on under there. Let's see. Nothing. And then it's like, ow, golly, freaking son of a nutcracker. Stabbed right in the eye. My arm is also bleeding because uh, I filmed a leech video earlier today and let a leech eat me and I'm still bleeding from that. So that's why. All right, hopefully we find one. All right, so we're gonna try flipping this one. Uh, we heard a lot of movement over here, so I could find something. Oh, check this out. Right here, a very sizable Texas brown tarantula. Looks like a big female. Hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're okay. I just want to delicately get her onto my hand. Look at this. So, this is one of Texas. Texas's is uh, largest spiders. Um, now, she is a New World tarantula, so I wanted to be careful in picking her up, not because of her bite, uh, which is not very um, potent or painful, but because of these hairs on the abdomen. Tarantulas are covered in what are called urticating hairs, which are very, very tiny, um, but very, very irritating. Uh, so what she does when she feels threatened is she doesn't usually go to bite. She'll actually use these back legs here and <laughs> kick off those urticating hairs, which can get in my skin and my eyes and my mouth, um, and they are very itchy and irritating. But as you can see, she's very calm. Typically, these uh, tarantulas um, and, and all tarantulas in the genus of Fauna Palma, uh, in which she resides, um, are typically pretty mellow. Uh, don't really do much, not very aggressive. Um, and you can find them under rocks and logs, um, things much like this, uh, where they wait um, for prey generally to come to them. Um, but very, very cool. You can see she has very tiny eyes on the top of her cephalothorax. So a lot of her sensory comes from the hairs on her legs um, as well. So she's mostly just kind of probing around, feeling for um, uh, prey items, feeling for predators. Uh, and going along her way. Uh, so she's very, very cool. We're gonna put her back in here. Let her go back to doing whatever tarantula things she was up to in the first place. Very gently. All right, cool find. Not entirely what we've been looking for, um, but better than nothing. Nope. Solid. Mm -hmm.